Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am really excited for this video, guys. I have finished my very first So Your View for the year, so I've never done it before, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you my beautiful make, which you guys can see back there. If you are interested, please meet me in the next section where I share with you fabric detail as well as any and all modifications that I made to the beautiful dress. I have never done one of their projects and I'm really happy to have the opportunity to do it this year. So this is their December So Your View, which is the Amara McCall's pattern. It is a beautiful, special occasions dress with a plunging neckline. You can either have it sleeveless or with sleeve, it's floor length with a slit in the front, or you can have view C, which is really mo more of a uh, red carpet sort of style because it, it looks and feels like you're wearing a beautiful long train at the end of this dress so for the hem it just goes out like if it's a wedding dress really beautiful and I really love it I thought it was a magnificent way to close out a 2021 for their their IG challenges and I'm happy that I get to share with you my view so I made some modifications to this dress but before let's talk about the fabric this is a beautiful um, glitter knit fabric from Joann's that I picked up. I almost passed it because it was folded on the inside because of the glitter. So <laughs> I'm sort of on a glitter band, um, sequins band. If you guys remember, I recently completed my little red dress project, which was a sequins lace fabric, and that was all over the floor. And now I'm finishing off this beautiful dress and there's glitter all over the floor. There's glitter still on me. There's glitter on the floor, down the steps, in the kitchen, as well as in the car because I had to wear this to go take my photos and do my 360. So there is a lot of glitter going on. One thing I would say is I'm not going to probably be wearing this dress every other week or every other weekend because of the glitter situation. Other than that, love it. It's beautiful. It just packs a wow. It's it's amazing. It's a really good project and I'm so happy that I did it. So regarding the pattern, it is design M8037 and I already mentioned that it goes by the hashtag Mara McCalls. This pattern comes in sizes 6 through a 22 and I am double checking that is correct yes that is correct also the multiple lengths so let me just pull up the images so you guys can actually see what it looks like before I share the modifications of this beautiful dress oh Oh my gosh. If you all remember from my plannings video, I was a little bummed out because someone else had this fabric and they made this dress. However, looking at Soya View's IG channel, someone else has made this as well in the same fabric. And hers look really beautiful. She has the really beautiful deep plunging neckline. I just couldn't do that. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable doing that, but let me step back and I'm going to share with you the modifications that I did on my beautiful Sawyer View dress for December 2021. Okay, so here is my dress and you guys cannot really see me, so we're going to get really comfortable right here like this and we're going to talk. So, this sleeve this is the Tilly and the Buttons Billy sleeve. This is a size 
four sleeve from the Tilly and the Buttons pattern because that's the size that I normally work with and I chose it because that's my size and that's what I make my billy in. It's a size four. And I always make my sewn patterns in a size 12. So I just felt that the logical thing to do was to marry the two sizes together and see what happens. And so far everything fit really nicely and it looks beautiful. Now because this fabric is a two-way stretch, I was pretty nervous about the cuff situation. I wasn't sure it was going to stretch nicely with this fabric, but it turned out great. I really love this. I wish that there was some more volume on the sleeve to really build out the shoulder and add a lot of structure detail to the sleeve cap so it would look more boom in your face, but that somehow did not happen. So we'll just have to live with this. The other modification, and you will not be able to see it, is this has been shortened. So it falls just above my knee and I hand stitched the hem because I just didn't want to see any machine stitch line on the hem of this fabric, especially with the glitter. I just didn't want to deal with that or have to, to see those stitch marks. They're just so predominant on a fabric such as this when you do that. So. Yeah, I just decided against that. Um, I wasn't feeling plunger neckline for this one because as you guys can see, this dress here that I'm wearing, it's a Vogue, I can't remember the pattern. I'll leave it um, somewhere here so you guys can see what it is. This has a very plunger neckline. And this one goes all the way down here and I am, I just couldn't do it. Like this is plungy enough for me. This is going a little too far. <laughs> I mean, I could have, I just was not in the mood for that right now with this project. I just didn't want to do it. Um, I didn't want to be like over the top sexy right now. So that in mind, I stitched up the neckline to where I felt pretty comfortable. I did leave a little skin here. Um, but that was probably just me being lazy <laughs> and I just stitched that up. So basically that is the bulk of the modification on this dress. I was torn about keeping this because I forgot to cut this down so it would be shorter. Because my skirt is short, it just touches or kisses the hemline. So I don't know if I'm going to readjust um, adjust this tie so it's shorter and it falls a bit above the hemline. Otherwise, take a look at the 360 and let me know. Now let's put her back where she needs to be and I'll come back in the front to sit and chat with you guys. I know she's being moved all over in this video, back there, closer here, and then back there again, but this is me recording in real life and showing you guys exactly what is going on. So the 360 is coming up. The photos I think turned out amazing. I had issues because the weather has been so overcast and we had to like wait for the sun to shine and then it'll go away. So I was really worried I wouldn't get the pictures done in time because I've been waiting for a few days to get these done and I'm so happy that I got it done and I think it looks really good. I'm going to complete a blog post and I will upload this video Friday. <laughs> I think. If not Friday, it's going to go up Thursday. So Thursday or Friday, the last week in December. That way you guys will see my beautiful New York I keep wanting to say New York Eve. <laughs> my New Year's Eve dress. So you guys will see my New Year's Eve dress either on the 31st or the 1st. Okay, so let's talk about the 360 that you guys are going to see shortly. It is really good. <laughs> I think the photos came out amazing. But let me know your thoughts about this dress. Would you have 
made any modification or do you like the three options or are you really digging some of my modifications and you might consider adding them to one of your projects please let me know but for now let's take a look at the 360 and i'll meet you in the end where we'll close out this video my heart's been ripped wide open so many mixed emotions it's like i finally noticed i've been set free I've been set free I spent a lifetime running Fearing what I'd become if I Stop playing goalie on all of my thoughts, yeah Speaking out straight from my heart, but now I see But now I see Oh, I see this love is taking over Breaking through my chest and overflow Every single beat, it pulls me closer, closer to you There you guys, that is it. That is my so your view. I love it. I do, I do. I think it turned out really good. <sighs> It's beautiful. It's a beautiful dress. It's a short dress. It's not the long special occasions. Let's um, let's take ourselves to a black tie event because it's short, so it's more cocktail style. But that is the look that I was going for, and that is the view that I wanted to share with the community. And I think it turned out great. I love it. I want to know your thoughts. What do you think? I just cannot stop looking at the fabric. As much as the fabric has been a pain, I really love the effect that it gives off. It is so beautiful, very glamorous. I think the entire look is amazing. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you guys for supporting my channel for 2021 i am so grateful for you guys i have so much plan for 2022 i'm going to be here i'm going to be consistent you might get really <laughs> bored with me because i'm going to be here but i'm so ready to share all the things that i love to do which is sewing and i will probably consider adding other things to this channel probably some lifestyle but it's going to pretty much be 90% sewing but I just thought that let me just move my head because I didn't really like this look at that it looks like I have something on my head so let's just go this way yeah <laughs> so I am going to probably share a little bit more for 2022 but I do look forward to what comes I hope beautiful thing comes this year and I look forward to your support. Thank you, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you on my next upload. Bye-bye.